Hey guys, it's Shira here from Woodshop Diaries and today I'm sharing with you a project that may be small in size but it's had a really big impact on my work area. It's a desk organizer with a shelf and a drawer. As a small business owner and content creator, I have a lot of papers, receipts, to-do lists, planners, and SD cards to keep up with and a very tiny space to keep them all organized yet still easy to access. I was tired of paper stacking up in a mess on my desk and having a hard time keeping track of things, so I built this simple organizer from the red oak scrap boards I had left over from my recent linen cabinet build. And I've partnered with Craig Toll and Build Something to bring you the plans for free over on buildsomething.com. I'll leave a link below to the blog post about this project and the plans on Build Something so you can check them all out. So if you're ready to see how it came together, let's get to it. As I already mentioned, I used leftover wood from the linen cabinet I recently made, so the first thing that I did was gather my boards to see what I had and decide how large to make my organizer. I ended up having several 1x6 boards 24 inches long and an almost full 8 foot 1x4. Based on this, I made my organizer about 24 inches wide and 11 and a half inches tall. You may choose to make yours slightly different if you wish. So I began attaching my side panels and shelves. I used my Craig pocket hole jig to drill 3 quarter inch pocket holes into the long edges of 3 of the 1x6 boards. Then I glued each of these 3 boards to another 1x6 board like shown to make 3 panels. Once they were clamped nice and flat, I used 1 and a quarter inch pocket hole screws to reinforce the joint. And also because I'm impatient and with the screws holding the glue joint, I can move on to the next step much faster. I let the glue dry on my three panels for just a little bit and then I removed them from the clamps and trimmed the edges off even with my miter saw, making sure to keep two long shelves the same length and then I cut the third panel down to two equal 11 and a half inch pieces for the sides. I gave these a good sanding and then before assembling I also cut a piece of 1x4 the same length as my shelves. Once I had all my pieces ready to assemble, I used my Craig pocket hole jig to drill 3 quarter inch pocket holes into the ends of the 1x4 and into the ends of my two shelf pieces. I attached the 1x4 between the two side panels like shown using 1 and a quarter inch pocket hole screws, keeping it flush with the top and the back of the side pieces. Then I attached the shelves between these side panels with glue and one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws as well. I made sure to keep the shelves nice and square to the side panels when attaching and I left about three and five eighths inch space between them for the drawer later. At this point, I could have left it as is, but I really wanted a little drawer to help corral all of my knickknacks on my desk and provide a good place to hide all of my random to-do lists and receipts. So I measured how big to make the drawer and began cutting my 1x4 board down to make it with. If you want exact measurements for this desk organizer, be sure to check out the plans with the cut list and step-by-step -step instructions in the link below. Once I have my drawer pieces cut, I use my table saw to cut a dado along the bottom of these pieces. If you don't have a table saw, you can staple the bottom under the drawer box once it's assembled, but you'll need to leave a larger gap between the shelves to accommodate this thickness of the drawer bottom. Or, alternately, you could attach a piece of half inch or three quarter inch plywood inside the opening of the drawer box using pocket holes and screws. I assembled this drawer box using 3 quarter inch pocket holes and screws and actually I need to make a quick confession. I'm a little timid with my table saw and the side pieces of the drawer were pretty short. I was nervous to run these through the table saw for the dado so I ended up just using a narrow piece of scrap for the drawer sides and sliding the bottom through the dados in the front and the back pieces and then just stapling the bottom in place onto the sides. In hindsight I should have cut the dado before trimming down the pieces that would have prevented all of this uh, mess up I guess, but crap happens, I mean, it was a simple mistake. Either way works, but just in case you were wondering what the heck I was doing here, now you know I'm just afraid of the table saw. I used a hole saw and drilled out a finger hole to open the drawer with in the center and check that everything fit well. Now it's all over except the finish. I used walrus oil furniture wax to give this a nice natural finish and then brought it inside and set it on my desk. 
and then filled it with all the junk that used to be sitting out in the open on my desk. <laughs> At least now it looks like I'm a little more organized. But seriously, this may be a small project, but it has definitely helped me out a ton. Just clearing up the clutter on my workspace instantly helped me better focus and stay motivated. It's amazing how a little paper clutter can hold you back. So if you're ready to get your space organized, be sure to head over to the links below to find more information and the plans to build one of these for yourself. And if you like this video, I'd love if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy building.